How sure. did the Yankees make this decision to, to keep Volpe here? Yeah, bring him up here. talking to people there, look, this, as you said, Sal, it was Peraza uh, with an edge going in, and there's good reason for that, that evaluators believed and still believe this is inside and outside the organization. The majority of scouts who follow this organization say that Peraza's here, say, is a shortstop defensively, and Volpe's like here. They're both shortstops, but Peraza's the guy who projects as the shortstop of the future, and Volpe profiles beautifully at second base. So that's where that was going into it, but they declared it a competition. And if you're going to declare it a competition to the public and to the clubhouse, the players themselves, as you said, Sal, Volpe went and he took it. Uh, the Yankees like what he brings offensively, and they're willing to take that slight difference in the defense right now. If you look around the diamond at the greater context of that, Harrison Bader's hurt. They don't know what kind of production they get out of center right now. They don't know what kind of production they're going to get out of left all season. That's about right. Hicks's defense at this point in left. And they don't know what production they're going to get out of third, even though they're hopeful about Donaldson. So they went with the bat at shortstop, basically, even though he's a guy who's not necessarily going to be that shortstop for 10 years or, or what have you. Right now, they needed to emphasize the bat. And again, I can't say it enough, he won the job with his play. Still long, long term, you still think Peraza, short, Volpe, second base? What I think doesn't matter. When I talk to people who know what they're looking at, Peraza's the shortstop. Volpe is a shortstop. But when you look at the, if they're together, Together on the same team, Volpe moves over to second if you're drawing it up in a world where they both work out and they're at their best.